robotics now uh, demo and talk from uh, Bruno Maisonnier, who is the founder and director of uh, Aldebaran Robotics. Bruno, if you can join me on stage. Welcome. Bonjour, welcome. Thank Bienvenue. you. Hello everyone, happy to be here with you. I'm Bruno, founder of Aldebaran, the creator of Nao, our friend. Hi Nao. Hi Bruno. And hello everybody. It's my first time at the web. I am proud <laughs> to be here today. What did you dream to be in 10 years? I really look forward to being your robot buddy, the new family member. Every day I'm being taught new things, like playing golf, telling stories to children, write my name, or even drive a car. <laughs> Thanks to Aldebaran's engineers and also to my friends from the community of developers, I'm constantly evolve. <clears throat> I am the future of interaction. <laughs> Thank you, Nao. Nao is the little brother of our family of robots. Imagine a world. Imagine where robots can boost universities at the forefront of world research. Imagine a world where students can be up to 30% more involved in their studies when using robots, whatever the studies, math, computer sciences, of course, psychology, whatever. Imagine a world where autistic kids can improve, gain up to 20, sometimes more percent of IQ when their educator is using robot. Imagine a world where children are happy to do math thanks to their cute and nice friend. This world is reality. Aldebaran already sold something like 4,500 robots all over the world to universities, to research centers, to large companies, associations, small companies, developers, many developers, who all want to explore this new coming world. It's already existing. This world is already reality. But I'm not speaking about any kind of robot. I'm speaking about Aldebaran Robotics robot, our kind of robot, well-intentioned robots, benevolent robots. Sorry, the French word of bienveillant, uh, is fitting well, but benevolent robots. That means robots that are here to enhance you, that are here to make you laugh, to make you happy. Robots that are here to, to help you. Robots that are here to make you comfortable with them enough to have them at your home. So robots that you want to have at your home, you are happy with them at your home. And then they may bring you many other things because they are connected, they are digital robots. Robots that are able to read your emotions and behave properly. This is what we are doing. So you will accept to have this robot, and these robots are fantastic, they are powerful, because, because they are addressing left brain subjects, topics, like emotion, like acceptance. And when you are accepting the robot at home, it's changing all what you can do with the robots. Why are we doing that? We all know that technology is going very fast, evolving, changing, moving. We know that there are a lot of people that are excluded from this new world. And if we want to have everyone uh, integrated, everyone part of this revolution, then we need to have smart interfaces. Of course, there are many, many companies working at interfaces, touchscreen, vocal interfaces, uh, glasses, watches. We, we all know all these kind of things. And they are great. 
They are doing well and they are helping. But it's not enough. If I want devices to act in the real world, not only virtual world, digital, to act in the real world, in my home, with my things, in my flat, in different rooms, moving autonomously, if I want to use, in order to interact, all the power of the body language, we all know that major part of the communication, of my communication, and your communication, is based on body language much more than verbal. And we are using interfaces that are based on verbal. So if we want to use the power of body language, not only my body language that my robot will be able to understand, but his own body language in order for me to have gut feeling, gut understanding of what the robot is telling. Wow, then this is creating a very super intuitive interface. And we can say that humanoid robots are the ultimate interface. This is what we have all in mind. Of course, it's difficult to do that. And how to get there? To get there, we need to have robots by themselves. We need to have hardware platforms. So Aldebaran is providing a family of affordable robust platforms. You need to have operating system dedicated to humanoid robotics, understanding, reading your emotions, understanding dialogues, interacting, moving, everything you, you can imagine. So we have one called Naoki that we are providing to. <coughs> On top of that, you need to have an SDK and, and tools to make all the developers, all the creators, able to explore this new world. So we have these tools. But more than that, we need applications. More than everything else, we need applications. And thanks to our application store, you will be able to use your creativity, your knowledge of your business, to try finding new ways to try and find new opportunities and to give them to everyone around the world. Think about it, this is limitless. This is really limitless. So now, let's imagine the world in 10 years' time, when we will have robots that will help our kids to learn in a funny way, they will be happy to learn, but more than that, it will be personalized, the dream of a lot of people, personalized learning, education. Robots will be able to provide that. We will have in our world in 10 years' time elderly that will be monitored, helped, uh, cared, uh, thanks to robot, directly or indirectly, thanks to robot. But more than that, because this robot will be accepted by them, because the cognitive investment for them to enter and to interact with the robot is very low, this robot will provide them with the access to all the digital world the one of today, of tomorrow, in 10 years' time, but the others that will come and change and faster and faster. So they will stay permanently tuned because their robot will help them being uh, in this world. So it's totally limitless, it's totally uh, revolution. There will be robots in each and every house. There will be robots in each and every mall, in each and every stores. There will be millions of robots. It's really a, a disruptive evolution. And of course, application is key around that. So ladies and gentlemen, just think about that. We are, with humanoid robotics, more or less at the verge of a revolution, more or less at the same point we were in the early 90s with the mobile phones. You know, at this time, we better would have called them bearable phones. But look how these evolutions, how they change. How now with this smartphone, thanks to evolution, but thanks to millions of applications that have been developed. Look how this mobile phone changed our world, our daily life. The same is going to happen with robotic. This is the birth of a new business, of a new activity, development of application for humanoid robots. Absolutely key, powerful. And if your boss tomorrow, after tomorrow, is asking you, well, which evolution, which disruptive technologies have you seen at the web conference? Just tell him, humanoid robotics. It's coming, it's now, it's ready. The next evolution is, beginning now, is to develop applications. So tell him, we have to jump immediately in this train. Thank you. Thank you very much.
I think we should have a robot host. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Are you. Can I have one? Oh, of course, very <laughs> soon. <laughs> Great. You know, well, I'm afraid I have some flu. I hope it's not avian flu nor robotic flu. But that's for now, it's okay. It looks very happy. <laughs> oh, well, thank, thank you, you very much. We'll see you around. Thank you.